Hi everybody, uh, in this video I will show you about Firebase for iOS and Android uh, in React Native. Uh, so firstly, what is Firebase? Uh, Firebase works uh, as an online storage uh, to save the real-time database and it is quite reliable and real-time and it is conveni uh, convenient for you to write your application. Uh, so firstly, you have to register a new Firebase application by sending uh, a request and the Firebase console will give you uh, a file for iOS and a file for Android. Uh, these two files are in XML format so you can f uh, save this file to iOS photo and Android photo. Uh, so from the uh, Xcode from your An Android Studio you can config your, your project, uh, config your part file in Xcode uh, so you can uh, authenticate the Google, Facebook, uh, email, password to Firebase, and uh, you can also uh, send the real-time database insert update to the Firebase, and uh, you can also use a uh, storage for real-time update. Okay, let's start with the Firebase controller. So uh, uh, firstly, you can uh, click to get start and uh, create a new application and uh, so you can choose your resin vietnam okay and uh, your project name it will give it a name depending on your ios or android version and uh, create project so we have ios and android version uh, and firstly you click to ios and you get the ios bundle id from uh, your xcode so you open uh, the Xcode here I use Xcode 9 you copy the bundle ID or the identifier of your bundle wrapped and copy this and paste to uh, iOS bundle ID uh, the nickname is optional you can uh, set it uh, an understandable name and the app store ID okay and register so we have a file a google service.info plist and you download this uh, download you to your computer and open the finder uh, uh, so in finder and copy this file uh, copy this file and save to your project uh, so open your iOS project and paste to here uh, so now you can drag and drop your file to your escort and create uh, group to link yeah, in this file contain all the basic uh, of your application information and you can add uh, firebase react native firebase library uh, using yarn add and you can check by serving the package.json to ensure that the library has that, uh, just installed uh, with a specific version and so you uh, can link your uh, React Native Firebase module to your iOS and Android version. Yes, so the package is linked successfully here. Uh, and you can uh, open your uh, project in iOS and Android. So firstly, uh, change directory to iOS and uh, create a new part file. Uh, part file is a file that uh, contains a library for iOS. Uh, it is uh, ca it can be written in uh, Objective C or Swift. Uh, so after part init, you have a, a default file, a part file. Uh, so you can ed edit the file uh, or see the content of part file here. So in a part file, I see that the TVOS test is not necessary because it have uh, in the test targets so you can remove this line this line uh, of code is not necessary so you can uh, delete this code by nano part file and move point to this uh, to remove the tvos test yes remove all its uh, line and then save your file to part file and then you clear and install the package so uh, from now you can open uh, Xcode workspace 
to open the project in iOS. From now, it it, it uses a, a workspace, and the target is too old. You can change it to the newer, for example, iOS 9. So you can change this platform uh, version by changing the container port file by remove this command. So we have the platform is a, a minimum of iOS uh, 9. So you uh, continue it and save this file and reinstall the port file. So it is okay now. Uh, on the li library of your Xcode is installed. So you can open this file to open the project in iOS. Uh, so open a tutorial project dot Xcode workspace and then you can see that we have a target project. So click to this and check uh, the uh, linker flag. The linker flag uh, so you uh, how to compile or link your li uh, library in your project and remember to add this line to inherit from any uh, parent setting so uh, the same as uh, uh, test, the same type of tvOS etc you uh, can uh, add the, the, the dollar inherited uh, before this setting so inside this you can add the library uh, to here, uh, so firstly you have a core f functionality, uh, functionality of Firebase. Uh, the second is uh, authentication in uh, uh, Facebook, Google, email, password, anonymous user, and uh, you you also have a uh, pi uh, runtime database with the Firestore and database. Uh, it is very convenient to save your document or database in file or in real time database so use it it is very important for our project and uh, after we have this uh, package then you can reinstall by port install and wait a few seconds so we have this new library has been added to the part uh, directory uh, you can check by uh, list on file in uh, this directory by list all parts and uh, you see that it is install a library for uh, the iOS project uh, so you can uh, import the file here or uh, in uh, app delegate you can uh, configure uh, the firebase application uh, uh, after it has just been open so you create a new React Native component, a default React Native component, but import the Firebase and uh, uh, you run you know, to, to add this component to your project uh, to check that uh, whether it is OK or not by uh, import the login component here. Uh, so run in iOS firstly, so you see that test React Native Firebase OK and uh, now what about Android uh, Android it's uh, quite uh, similar to iOS but and uh, we have uh, some of the uh, notation that we uh, need to remember so uh, click to the Firebase controller and uh, uh, you click uh, to the setting uh, project setting uh, so inside this you can see the file for Android Google service dot uh, you download this file uh, to your computer and uh, copy this file then uh, paste to the Android directory yes paste to here uh, you can paste to this uh, uh, folder paste to this and uh, open this project in Android Studio. Uh, so uh, recently, I am using the Android Studio 3 uh, with the uh, Marshmallow uh, emulator. And you open this uh, GitHub and uh, click to React Native Starter. And all of the build router is here is a good reference for you to copy to your project. So let's start by click to now uh, project 
view router and copy this uh, line get this file content and add to uh, your existing android project uh, and paste to here uh, remember that is a new version of android studio uh, it uses uh, the marvin repository is here and click to up uh, the view router for uh, for application and copy all of this code line except that you have to change the uh, uh, project name or the application id here so paste to and change the application id to com dot tutorial project and then uh, start the project and start the uh, avd okay and android is okay now uh, thanks for watching uh, this, this is the end of my lesson today uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting video about firebase uh, or download code in github here thank you so much